Hey everyone, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Again, that website address is theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I really am having a busy day today, but I got a question. And it's a good question because uh, I've dealt with it before too. And it's from a study coordinator out there who shall remain nameless. But he's asking, how do we deal, give me some suggestions, Dan, for dealing with unusual monitor requests. And what I should tell you is that I've worked in this industry for about eight years and I've dealt with numerous monitors, probably, I've probably come across over 50 monitors if not more, that's probably just being conservative. For the most part they are good, monitors are generally very friendly people, they're just trying to do their jobs, they're just trying to earn a living, they're, they work extremely hard, if you're a monitor out there you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think for what they do, they are very much overworked and underpaid. I really, really believe that. Okay, with that being said, there are a few monitors, and again, they're in the minority, that have some kind of attitude problems, just probably like in any other job. There's monitors who may have, maybe they're having a bad day, maybe they're having a bad year, maybe they're having a bad work experience at the moment, whatever it may be, they may sometimes take out their frustrations on you, the study coordinator, because you're generally the first line of communication with them. Well, if that's the case, you really need to work out and draw boundaries with monitors. I've had a case where a monitor came in my office. This is where I had to draw the line. I had a monitor come in my office when I first started, probably seven years ago and she was having a really bad day and she saw some things on my wall that I pasted on there so that I could remind myself you know this is what I have to do she started ripping things off the wall and said these don't go there and that's when I told her look I don't want to have a problem with you but like that's just inappropriate so my point is again for the most part monitors are excellent excellent people they do a they provide tremendous service, they're very overworked, probably underpaid for what they do, but there are some that will take out their frustrations on you. So this, to answer this question, basically what you need to do is discuss this with your PI. First talk to the monitor, bring it up to them and make sure that they understand what your concern is. And then also, I would bring it up with your PI. If you need a monitor change, Okay, it's probably the last resort, but if you need a, a change in monitor, you can ask for this too. Just call the project manager and try to initiate a change in monitor. I've had to do this a few times when the payments weren't coming in as fast enough with one monitor when compared to another, and they try to keep this monitor as our permanent monitor, so I had to put an end to that. But basically, the project managers are there for you they're there to work with you and they're there to answer these kind of questions because monitors just like any other people uh, sometimes have bad days, bad weeks, bad years, whatever it may be. Hopefully this helps. This is just some advice on how to deal with monitors and difficult to deal with monitors. I want to give a shout out to our clinical trials guru producers. It's Sarah Elizabeth Siegler, Resolve Research Solutions, Accurate Clinical Trials, Erd Heart Clinical Trials, PTNR, Patrick Stone, Kulkarni Law Firm, Biofarm Systems, South Coast Clinical Trials, and Breakthrough Clinical Trials. Hopefully this helps answer your question and let me know how you deal with difficult to deal with monitors. Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com.